Hi everyone, it's Jaya and I'm here to introduce you to your drafting space and your drafting tools. Um, I have placed on my drafting table uh, a piece of linoleum. It's, fr it's Fiskars, but that doesn't matter who makes it. It's just giving me a surface to draw on because I put this on a glass tabletop that has a metal frame at the edge. These are little drafting dots that I pulled off because I'm going to work with them very soon. They come in they in this box. Looks like that, right? And so I always tape the top down because the drafting dots come out of the end and you grab them up with your finger like that. So you have to twist these this roll of dots inside of the box top in order to get this kind of exit on your dots. And then I immediately place them on my clothing in order to reduce some of the stickiness of them because they tend to tear the paper if they have too much adhesion. Okay, let's keep going. So this is your T-square. This particular T-square is 24 inches long. C24, made by Alvin. That's the manufacturer, although you could call this Alvin. He could be your pet, your pet T-square. It has a long black edge on both sides of this long wooden uh, piece of material that also has um, acrylic on each edge of it so that when we're drafting, we have a little window to see what's on our paper below. This fits on any straight-edged table along the outside edge of it and travels up and down the table like so. This is a triangle. You may have one, two, or three of these in your kit. This particular one that I'm holding is a 45 degree triangle where the angle from the 90 degree, which is on the inside here, is completely 45. That means that this edge and this edge are the same length. These triangles sit on top of your T-square and run along the edge of it so smoothly because they're both acrylic and they like each other. So it just glides along. You have to keep this edge nice and square to the tabletop and your triangle sits right on top of that. Now, if you're right-handed, you want the straight part of your triangle to be accessible to your right hand. I happen to be right-handed. So if I take my pencil in my hand, I use this to make vertical lines on the paper, this edge right here, and I use this edge to make horizontal lines on the paper, which I'll show you in just a second. But I want you to see that the straight edge here needs to be open to the hand that you're working with. So if you were left-handed, you would completely reverse this configuration. What you don't want to be doing is working over this tool. You want to keep the tool open to your working hand. All right, so uh, I'm going to take some drafting dots and a piece of paper. The drafting dots, I'm going to take a small piece of paper here, eight and a half by 11, and reminding you that we always work on our paper in landscape format. So no portrait, no, no, no. Landscape. So that means it's in a horizontal configuration. In order to place the paper on your board so that it works properly with the T-square edge, you want to take the bottom of your paper in two, with two hands and kind, I kind of cup it against the edge of the T-square, which I know is flat against the outside edge, and I take my drafting dots and I then secure my paper to the board. Now notice most of the drafting dot is on the board and not on my paper. What you want to do is place the drafting dots. Whoa, sorry about that. Set this up. You want to place the drafting dots so that they just capture the paper to keep it stuck on your board. Okay, so now I'm going to move this slightly so I can get you a better view. Hold on. There we go. And I'm going to continue to show you how to use the T-square. 
This is a mechanical pencil. You have three of them. They are three different pencil widths. That means that the lead is three different diameters in each one of your pencils. So you have a 0 0.03, you have a 0 0.05, and you have a 0 0.07. I am using this pencil, which happens to be a 0 0.07. And I'm just gonna show you how the pencil works against the edge of the paper. Now notice, if you can, that I'm not holding my pencil upright, and I'm actually not holding it as if I were making text or doing my lettering or writing a letter. I'm holding it really loosely in my hand so that I can twist the pencil while I'm pulling it. And you always want to pull your pencil. You never want to push the pencil on the paper. So notice me right now. I'm going to go very quickly and then I'll go slowly. So here I am turning my pencil and having my pencil on an angle. What that allows me to do is create lines that are evenly, have an even width across the top of them. If I don't do that, and now I'm going to show you very slowly first. So here, watch my thumb. You see how my thumb is kind of turning the pencil and then I broke my lead because I was trying too hard. So sometimes you'll break your lead. If you do, what you don't want it to be is on your drawing. So you want to take your drafting brush, brush away anything that might be left. Now, if I don't roll my pencil, this is what I'm going to get. I'm going to get, well, I broke it again, but I'm going to get a line that gets thicker at one end and starts thinner. That's not what we want. We want the same width of line across the paper. And then we do the same thing with our, let me make sure I don't have anything on there because I broke the lead twice. I'm so talented at breaking lead. <clears throat> also, I'm standing up and this is quite far below me. So um, now your triangle right here, I said leave the edge open, you'll do the same thing. You'll just want to practice turning the lead, turning the pencil. And so basically, what you end up with when you have this configuration of your of your triangle and your straight edge on your paper, you end up with the ability to make lines that are perfectly square to each other. Now I have a little lead, so you can see that this graphite is soft in your pencil. So I'm just going to brush it away so that it doesn't smear. We always want to keep our paper as clean as we can, although eventually it does grab graphite. Okay, go on to the next lesson and we'll talk about lines and lettering. Okay, see you there. Bye.